when I closed my eyes for months on end and sat, everybody wrote me off, you know. I went and sat in a small farm in a remote place, closed my eyes and simply sat. Food didn't come very often, so I lost a lot of weight. I was very muscular and strong when I was a student. Then I closed my eyes and sat, food doesn't come by itself, you have to go behind it. So I lost a lot of weight and simply sat there. Of course, my parents were super disappointed. My teachers, one by one, they started coming and said, we thought you will do something, but you… you're gone, you finished. I said, I have never been this great in my life. I might have lost weight, maybe I don't have money, but I have never felt life was this fantastic as it is right now. So what's fantastic about you? Because your… your friends have become engineers, doctors, IAS officers, what's fantastic about you? I said, I don't care what they have become, I know something fantastic has happened within me. Will this… will the world value this or not, who cares? In terms of life, I have found something super fantastic and that's all that matters. They thought I've lost my mind also. <laughs> At one time they really thought I need psychiatric evaluation <laughs> Simply because you are not trying to be better than somebody. Because the entire world seems to be, but this is the ethos of this nation. We never looked at how somebody else is doing. There are beautiful stories like this. On this side of the river, there's one village, on that side of the river, another village. They can see the people, they can hear them talking, they see the cooking smoke, but they never went across the river and met those people. Said, they seem to be living well, we are fine here, why should we go and see? They never went. People will say, oh, these have… these people have no exploration sense. Well, all the explorers went into India, Africa, Asia, uh, Australia. What have they done? Slaughter in the end. We never had such a need because this was a land of seeking. Seeking and knowing was the highest value. Conquering and establishing something was not the highest value. Establishing the human being was the biggest value, not establishing others' edifices and structures in the society. This people thought is a disadvantage, but at the same time we became the most vibrant economy on the planet. For many centuries, we were the only real economy. Everybody wanted to come to India, not because they were in love with you, because this was the richest land, that is why everybody wanted to come here. One Vasco da Gama reached here, many drowned in the ocean, but still they wanted to come because this was the richest land on the planet. Like right now, everybody wants to go to America because it's the richest nation on the planet. So, with… without a sense of conquest, we became a very vibrant economy. This is a very unique achievement which we need to bring back to this world because Today, our mode of economy itself is a conquest and it's a destruction. The way we have structured the economy in the world is such, today the Living Earth statistics say, if all the 7.3 billion people on the planet have to get what an average American citizen has, we need four and a half planets, but we have only half a planet. One half has been taken. If really economy succeeds on this planet, as we are planning it right now, this is the end of the world, really. It keeps going into recession to save us. This is like the proverbial story where a man is sitting at the wrong… on the wrong end of the branch and cutting it. When he succeeds, he falls. We have taken to this mode, but we operated this country in a different way. Our success would not make us fall, our success would not be a detriment to somebody else. We have to bring this back, it's… we are part of the modern economic system now, it's not easy. But still individually we can all cultivate this, 
that our success is not just about this and that and what people think about us, but how we are, how we are as a life, how I am within myself, this is my success, isn't it? For this, I don't have to look at somebody who is little worse than me or better than me. Wherever I sit or stand, this feels fantastic, this is a successful life, isn't it? 